and this woman comes up to you and goes, hi, uh, I'm the lady you talked to on the phone. I said, oh, hey, thanks for letting me witness the Godfather of Soul. She said, okay, we'll bring you up on stage now. I said, for, for what? Oh, for the press conference. I said, no, 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 James Brown is doing the press conference. I'm just going to stand and watch. She said, oh, no, 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 no. We need you with Mr. Brown. I went, oh, no, no, no. She went, come with me. And I've been so whipped by women in my life. I just kind of go, okay. And... <laughs> So she pulled me on stage, and I'm walking closer and closer to James Brown, and I'm remembering that I have rehearsed for this moment so many times in the mirror. Mr. Brown, my name is Henry Rollins. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Mr. Brown, my name is Henry Rollins. It's an honor to meet you, sir. He's sitting there looking at the audience of these people kind of, you know, getting their microphones ready. She slams a stool down next to Mr. Brown. She goes, Henry, sit down. And I sit down, and she goes, Mr. Brown, this is Henry Rollins. And he looks over, he's like, ha! God bless you. I said, Mr. Brown, it's, a, it's an honor to meet you, sir. My name is Henry Rollins. And, you know, uh, thank you for all the, the great music. And he kind of like, yeah, right. And like, God bless you. Ha! And a man reaches out of the crowd with a microphone. And he says, Henry, what does the music of James Brown mean to you? And James Brown looks at me like, what's he going to say? I'm like, well, I've listened to a lot of Mr. Brown's music. And there's one thing that he said in one of his songs that I live by. And the guy goes, what's that? And now Mr. Brown is really looking at me. I said, in one of his songs, Mr. Brown once said, if you don't work, you don't eat. And I live by that. And James Brown goes, ha, I did say that, and hugs me. I'm like, <laughs> like the godfather of soul is hugging me. This is easily one of the coolest days of my life. And he releases me, I'm like, that's it. I can, I, can, I can wander into traffic now. My work here is done. I've, sh I've shook the hand of the godfather of soul, and he's hugged me. And, and he said, well, anything else? And now that I'm on a roll, I said, yeah, I got something else to say about James Brown. I'm all confident now. I said, he did a live album many years ago called Live at the Apollo Volume 3, Revolution of the Mind. It is, to me, the greatest live album ever recorded. It's James Brown and his band when they are, are at their deadliest. And it seems like everyone at the Apollo in Harlem was a woman in love with him. When he's not singing, he's obviously dancing. All you hear is just, Boy, the whole band got laid that night. You know that happened. <laughs> and so I said, greatest live album. And, this, and, and, and Mr. Brown goes like, this man knows what he's talking about. And he grabs me and hugs me again. I'm like, trying not to come in my pants. <laughs> it was a great moment for me.